Hi Lana, hello and welcome once again to Lana's Coach. So we are going to basically look at this form of an attack known as SIM swapping. So what is SIM swapping? Now, a SIM swapping attack is a form of a technique that most hackers use to redirect or rather port your phone number into another SIM card that they use. So that means they are likely to transfer all your details that, that are within your specific SIM card so that they use it to perform just normal things that you can do with your SIM card. So in real sense, they always contact your service provider. It could be Airtel, it could be Safaricom, so that they pretend that you are, they are the legit owner of that particular SIM card. Then in return, the uh, Safaricom or Airtel or those particular service provider can always give them the mandate to use that particular uh, SIM card. So before you know it, they will have swapped your SIM so that you won't really have access to your, to your normal services. And that's what the name, uh, the, the term SIM comes from. So SIM simply means subscriber identity module. So this should actually be a unique SIM to you, not to any other person. So should it fall under the hands or the, on the hands of wrong people, then chances are they can do online banking on your behalf. They can do all no a number of uh, malicious things on your behalf. So let's see what this SIM swapping attack is all about. So as I already mentioned, uh, this is where the attacker takes over your mobile phone number. Actually, it's the, the phone number, not really the SIM card itself. Yeah, So that they can always pose as the real subscriber. Yeah, So they always contact your service provider. Yeah, so that they can always link that particular number, your legit or genuine number to the SIM card that they possess. Yeah, so that those particular credentials can be given uh, to them. And that's what, uh, that is what informs the concept of SIM swapping. So they can always use some technique. And the common technique that they use is what we refer to as social engineering. Now, social engineering is a hacker technique whereby they can always call your service provider pretending that they know you or they can always use information similar to what they have gathered from you. So they can get information about you from the social media. They can read more about you. So if they call the service provider, the service pro provider will always think that it's the legit subscriber who is actually uh, calling. So they can always tell subs, uh, the service subscriber, such a uh, service provider such as Safaricom, that maybe uh, they lost their sub, uh, their SIM card, so they need it to be replaced, or maybe the SIM card was damaged. So that once the sub, uh, the service provider gives them the go ahead, they can always use your SIM card. So it's it's all. So actually, when this particular attack is successful, uh, the genuine subscribers of the phone will lose connection to the network and they won't be able to make or receive phone calls. So we are going to look at a number of things that you need to take or put into consideration when this kind of attack is really uh, happening. So in a nutshell, this particular uh, diagram indicates the step-by-step -step way of how the swim swap uh, scam works. So as I had mentioned, the first thing that they do is to monitor, right? They kind of do some eavesdropping on your social media platforms, yeah, they kind of do some kind of email phishing, right? Email phishing is whereby they uh, send you some link that looks like a, a legit email so that they can provide your crucial, uh, confidential or private information to them, yeah? So this particular first step, the attacker collects data on victims. So they really need to know a lot about you, right? right like maybe uh where do you work and such kind of things where do you bank right then after they have gathered enough information about you they proceed to call your service provider right so they always pass or impersonate yourself yeah so that if they the service provider talks with them they can always feel that they are talking with the real uh subscriber then they trick the they really they trick those particular service providers to giving them uh, the confidential information that they require. So the third stage, the thief or the hacker now tricks the carrier to switching victim's mobile number. And here is where the real swapping 
uh, takes shape. So once they get hold of your SIM card, they cannot proceed to access your confidential information, such as your bank account. They start calling the people that they know that are associated, associated with you and so on. So in, your, in this essence, also on your side, you will always have some kind of, uh, you could always feel that there's some fishy things going on. Yeah, Like your SIM card cannot be able to call, you lose networks and so on. So this is how the swap, uh, the swap scam works. Now, how will you know if you are a victim of SIM swap? What actually takes place? Yeah. So the quickest way to find out if your SIM card has been swapped is for your, uh, you, your device to lose network connectivity. I think I've already mentioned this. Yeah. So you won't be able to make uh, any calls. You won't send text, even access your uh, mobile data. So it always gives you some kind of phishing uh, encounters. Then we have another way to find out if uh, is when a scammer tries to enter your account using a two-step verification. Sometimes you wonder, how comes they have accessed my, my bank account, right? So that means they already have both your mobile phone access and also they can be able to access your account details. So that two-factor authentication has, all, has already been given to them, right? So that should actually tell you that your SIM has been uh, swapped. And of course, another way you might find out is when you start uh, seeing some changes on your social media platforms, yeah, or other accounts you use, right? Like you just realize your bank, uh, bank balance keep on maybe reducing and so on. And of course, someone is posting something on your social media account and you are not the one who really posted it. So how fraud occurs when swapping uh, SIM? So how do they do the, it? How do these particular hackers perform this kind of uh, fraud? So scammers will use different methods. They can use malware to collect information from someone's device or send phishing uh, emails. Now malware simply means malicious software. Yeah, there are very many. So they can always send you some phishing email. You click on a particular link, then that particular malware will start uh, downloading on your phone or on your computer, then they'll capture your very confidential uh, messages. And of course, when you, uh, the fraudsters might also have much as, a much simpler method by using your social media uh, platforms. So here's where they perform a lot of eavesdropping. They actually collect a lot of your information. They know maybe your residential location. They know how you commute, the cars you use, uh, if you post them on your social media, and so on. So all these can always lead them to using those information to perform some kind of social engineering. Now, how do we then uh, avoid this kind of mobile SIM swapping? So I've uh, outlined some strategies that you can always follow, uh, maybe just to protect yourself from this kind of fraud. So what can you do to prevent SIM swap fraud? Now the first thing is try to talk to your uh, service provider, yeah, so that they can always give you some uh, security yeah, mechanism so that if something happens like swim swap, you can always be notified or it can prevent them from uh, really swapping your SIM card. Yeah. Also, you should avoid talking or sharing a lot of information with strangers, either offline or online via the social media platforms. Now remember the first step that this particular hacking or fraud happens is by collecting, hackers collecting confidential information or information about you. So the more information you share with your friends or strangers online, the more you expose yourself. So that's when they can always tie down all the information that they need before they call your service uh, providers. And of course, try not to use one common email to open very sensitive applications such as mobile applications. Yeah? So in a, if, it, if need be for you to be able to use a particular email to create an account, try to create just a private one for your own personal uh, apps accounts so that you don't share one common account to, uh, with all these particular uh, platforms. Right, so I think the bottom line here 
is that you need to really uh, monitor or really avoid sharing a lot of information uh, within your social media uh, platforms. So try as much as possible to reduce the chances of being uh, a victim of this kind of attack. So use two-factor authentication, uh, very, very important. Uh, do not share a lot of information, as you have said, within your social media account. And always take uh, necessary uh, safety measures wherever possible. So for those who are using um, Safaricom as their main carrier, they have also introduced a new uh, protective mechanism. Yeah, how you can, you can whitelist your number to stop these unintended swim stops. So they urge you to dial star 100, star 100 hash, so that at least if someone wants to swap your SIM, they can always be, uh, they can always be forced to go to the, uh, the shops or the, the original place where you actually uh, collected your SIM card so that you avoid uh, you are seeing being swapped anyhow in any particular uh, agent. So I think this particular information is actually an eye-opener about this particular attack that we are really talking about, the swim swapping attack. So should you find this information uh, useful, always feel free to share this particular uh, YouTube with the rest so that we help each other. So this is from Learners Coach. Uh, you can find us from uh, on Facebook, we are on Twitter, and of course, you are right here on YouTube. So always feel free to subscribe and follow along. All right. Thanks.